2. Utility Tunnels Surreality 5. Nostalgia Factor 1. Population 0. Chaos Integrity 5. Level Hazards Unsecure Unstable Properties Normal Geometry Environmental Hazards Life Form Dangers Level 2 is the second level of the back rooms. Description Level 2 is an ever-expanding maze of tunnels deep underground, the floor being made up entirely out of asphalt concrete and the walls often changing from bricks to ripping wallpaper. The ceiling itself is also made out of concrete, with several kinds of pipes and wires lining up along the fluorescent lights. Level 2 is known to be just as confusing as both level 0 and level 1, as the level's tunnels bend and shift in disorienting manners, even winding up to intersect with each other. These tunnels are mainly composed of wires and pipes, creating some kind of network of steam pipes and electrical wiring, seemingly built in the 1913s. The main tunnels, as we'll call them, are what the level is named after, as they are the most common type of tunnel out there in level 2. They serve the exact purpose as they are supposed to. Some communications utilities are also present inside of the tunnels, such as fiber optics, cable television, and telephone cables which could be used to use your phone or any of the kind. A multitude of machinery can be heard from the distance, hissing loudly, echoing awe throughout the tunnels of level 2. It makes the level even more disorienting, though this can easily be avoided by covering your ears or by just trying to focus on one objective at a time. Level 2's pipes often carry gas, water, heat, steam, compressed air, carbon dioxide, sewage, and coolants, which are often divided into the other sections of the tunnels. On the main tunnels, most pipes carry the above, except sewage and coolants. These two will often appear in different kinds of tunnels. Due to what these tunnels carry, temperatures may reach up to 32 degrees Celsius, while the minimum being 27 degrees Celsius. It is advised to bring something to drink in these areas, as you could die of dehydration. The map shown on the left displays the entirety of Sector F1, which is only one of the many sectors in Level 2, utility tunnels, the main tunnels, being the most common on the displayed map. Maintenance tunnels are a subcategory to the main tunnels. These tunnels have more wiring than the rest of the tunnels, which are also often used to power up Level 3 and other levels. It also serves to power itself up, preventing any kind of power outages. Sewer tunnels are exactly what they sound like. They carry sewage in their pipes, and wiring is often not seen here. There are also large openings to the tunnels where waste is being expelled from sewer lines. The tunnels could also be divided into two, having the river of sewage in the middle to cross the other side of river of sewage. You can walk by the catwalks, which are mostly broken, but a few of them are still in good condition. Occasionally, doors can lead to other parts of the sewer. At times, the parts where there is running sewer water, there are a few valves that could potentially drain the water or stop its course. Draining the water is probably the only way to unflood certain areas that were flooded by the water, and sometimes the tunnels themselves make it narrower. Drains are present in these tunnels, despite serving no purpose as there are barely any pipe leaks or floods. Coolant tunnels, as shown in the right, are not common. They often resemble a utility tunnel though they have some differences, such as being colder, and carrying coolants in their pipes. Due to these coolants, the tunnel may reach up to 22 degrees Celsius, and a bare minimum being 18 degrees Celsius, which has been deemed comfortable for some people. There are several signs spread throughout all of the tunnels of level 2, which are often pointing out to a certain direction saying North Hospital, South Hospital, West Hospital, and East Hospital. Though there are a few signs that says something different, Nursing Education Building, NEB, Cannabis Cafeteria, and AD Williams Clinic. Some of these places relate to other levels, such as Level 14 being the North Hospital, Level 32 being the South Hospital. Some of the other ones are yet to be documented, since the doors leading to their corresponding levels are locked. However, this incident isn't always the case. There are multiple signs and multiple doors that lead to their level. But as of today, we haven't found anything relating to the other signs that have been previously mentioned. Though we do have hopes to find them one day and link them to the century, as we are already planning expeditions to explore level 2 further. 
One of the many things every tunnel shares is an odd scent of tar oil, which are most likely produced is by the leaking tar of some of the pipes in the main tunnels. Though the fact that this very same tar is shared in other tunnels is still strikingly odd, this raises the chances that many tunnels still share the same things in their pipes despite being completely different. Another thing many tunnels share is the puddles of water and metal plates on the floor. These metal plates often vary in length and width. They are often supported by metal bars, which extend off to the ceiling. These very metal plates are also supported by concrete bricks, or could also be supported by metal squares on the ceiling. The pipes often vary in these types as well, though the most common are those that, can that carry compressed air, which could also cause steam to come off the pipes. This steam should be avoided as it is very hot and could give one potential second degree burns. In any case, you get burned from the steam, you should wash the burnt area very carefully with almond water and then wrap the burnt area with any kind of fabric you have with you. In case of having no fabric, you should avoid anything that could touch your wound as it could cause potential infections. Often, one may come across metal grids on the walls of level 2, which will reveal a small room with notes on the pipes and a single wooden wall. These notes are mostly gibberish, though people say that they can make out what they are saying. This is not valid for all notes, though. These rooms can be entered by finding specific doors somewhere around the same area you found the metal grids. Machinery The machinery in this level, as every other level ever, is incredibly complex. It ranges from having a multitude of generators to having wires that seemingly connect to nothing. It's always spread in the ceiling and the walls of level 2. Sometimes they're cut off entirely, making it a hazard for those who are close, and some just twist and turn on each side of the wall. It would also be entangled with other wires or around the pipes. The pipes can go up from the floor and the ceilings and so forth, creating a mess of pipes at every corner. And the reason why it is related to the machinery at level 2 is that the compressed air also creates some kind of energy flow for the generators to function, and thus powering up the lights of the level and also level 3. This makes level 2 very industrial one of the most important levels out there. Without level 2, many things in the back rooms wouldn't be the way they are today. Accessibility methods Entrances Finding darker hallways or openable manholes and courtyards in level 1 can get you here. Also, many of the levels with manholes in them can eventually lead here, and often also elevators from any level that contains them. Exits Taking up a ladder on the walls will eventually lead one to level 3, as there are other ways to access level 3. However, such as taking an elevator, which is not a common thing in level 2, or by no clipping through one of the level's pipes, which is of course, not advised. 